Welcome to another episode of Finish Line Adventures. Today we're starting with a new feature called On the Couch, where I get to interview an accomplished trail or road runner and find out what they're up to. So, I just want to welcome Stephen Lancaster to the couch. We're going to sit and chat about a couple of the initiatives he, that he's busy with. He's currently doing a thing called the 112 Run, which is a run that's a 5km relay and 12 hour run. He's also busy with a thing called Run Amok, which is a challenge where you run 400 milers in one calendar year and you get a special recognition for that and lastly he's busy with a bit of charity work so we're going to ask him all about the charities that he's busy supporting and and sponsoring so welcome Stephen welcome to the couch uh, thanks Alistair I thanks for coming I finally got you to the couch <laughs> Uh, too much running, uh. not enough sitting. <laughs> <laughs> too much technical problems with the YouTube <laughs> equipment. <laughs> so, <coughs> Stephen's been invited here a couple of times and we couldn't get the, the YouTube equipment working, so... But we persist, because, you know, we're ultra runners. We are. we are. All day and all night. So, Stephen, now that I've got you here with me, can you please tell me a little bit about the 112 run? What's it about? When is it? What does it entail? Yeah, uh, 29 September, a Sunday. It's a 12-hour challenge. Uh, one person, one team of two or four people running around a 5K loop at the Grassroof Cafe as many times as you can. Uh, it starts 6 a.m., finishes 6 p.m., and most of the entry fee will be going to charity. And uh, is there food available there? Grassroof food, man. <laughs> it's going to be good. And uh, is there anything that uh, that the kids can do that day? Is there anything for runners that are not um, accomplished trail or ultra runners or th things for the for the family or the kids? Yes, so Grassroof is a very family-friendly environment. There's a play area. Uh, there's the restaurant that, that the family or friends can go and have fun at. The, the course itself is fairly open for about two kilometers of it, so you... It, very spectator friendly. Um, yeah, come along, the, the friends and family, work colleagues can have an awesome day there while uh, there are others of us who will be going around and around and around and around. And how much does it cost to enter the race? Okay, so from 250 rand a person on a team uh, all the way through to 695 for an individual doing 12 hours by themselves. Um, there are also options for those who just want to be part of it and make a donation towards the charities. You can come and do a, a loop for 50 rand. And Stephen, I believe that there's a bit of a, a club competition where some of the clubs have challenged other clubs to to a race in the in the race. Yes. Yeah, so for the uh, relay portion of the race, uh, Achilles uh, was taken out by Charlo at the miler, um, and Charlo, in order to maintain their supremacy have entered four teams into the 112 run so we're hoping that achilles is going to respond in kind wow that sounds excellent and uh, i hope other clubs follow suit and, and we can have a good uh, race on the day yeah absolutely you know the more people that are there the more fun it's going to be and uh, competition is healthy and uh, the pricing for this event so, uh, 250 rand per person in a team, so that's 1,000 rand on a four-person team, all the way down to 50 rand for individuals who just want to be part of the fun. Um, an individual person who wants to do it the whole 12 hours by themselves, you're looking at 695. Um, then again, apart from uh, a meal at the end of the day, you'll get a medal, and you will also have uh, uh, given most of that money into the charities that we're supporting. And um, lastly, the, the proceeds of this run, where do they go to? So they're going into the, uh, the same charities that I'm raising funds for with my Run Amok Challenge. And they are One Land Love It, an anti-poaching initiative, um, community veterinary clinics who take care of stray animals, the Rainbows and Smiles Kids for Cancer charity, and then also the Herald Christmas Cheer Fund, which is based here in Nelson Mandela Bay. All of the others have a national footprint and do some amazing work around this country of ours. Wow, that sounds excellent. I'll definitely be seeing you on the day. I'm not sure whether I'll be doing the relay or the, the whole 12 hours, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll, but I will definitely be there. I'm sitting here speaking to Stephen Lancaster. We've already covered the 112 run, and now I want to speak to him a little bit about the Run Amok Challenge. Stephen, tell us a little bit more about Run Amok. Okay, so run amok, uh, muck meaning crazy, and from there you'll get the fact that run amok is about crazy running. 
A MAC stands for an abbreviation from ADO, MAC, MAC, Ultra Trail, Drakensberg, and Karkloof. They are four uh, trail events that happen around the South Africa through the year, and each of them has a 100-mile event attached to them. Those who finish each of the 100-mile events in a calendar year will receive uh, a special recognition at the end of it called Run Amok. So you're telling me that there's people in South Africa that do 400 milers in one calendar year? There are people who do more, but um, <laughs> not very many. <laughs> How many are people are left in this challenge? There are two officially uh, and possibly a third one unofficially. That, that are left in this challenge. The events take place March, April, May, and September, um, with the first three happening inside 10 weeks of each other. Obviously, there's a huge dropout rate, um, possibly related to a sense of belief, uh, possibly just training and injury. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not an easy challenge, even if you do believe. What date is the next event happening on? 20th to the 22nd of September, this car kloof starts at 8 p.m. on Friday evening. You have 36 hours to complete the 160.934 kilometers, and that takes you to 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. I'm hoping to be done well before then. <laughs> so, Stephen, if I could ask you, um, after all your trail runs and, and adventures this year, surely you've got a funny anecdote for something that happened on the trail? So, uh, at the start of every single of these races, you get a race briefing. At the start of Addo, Sean O'Keefe is standing up there warning us about snakes and hippos and other wildlife. And essentially, he's promising that you're going to come across something. Uh, and now, I've, I've spent six weeks in Shamwari. I know what walking dangerous games is about. Um, so, I was quite looking forward to this. Uh, I was out there for 31 hours. The The wildest creatures I saw were the other runners. <laughs> uh, a couple of birds flying past. Uh, I got to the end and I was like, Sean, not even jackals, nothing. And he's like, yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> you should have asked for a refund. I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it, guys. Stephen Lancaster in the flesh. We finally got him into the studio and onto the couch. Um, please, if you can, support what he's doing. Um, he's doing some wonderful charity work. Um, again, details in the description below. But um, we really wish you luck for the race that's coming up ahead. And we hope to get you back into the studio afterwards so you can tell us all about it. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it being here. Uh, and the pun for the support. That, yeah, the, the support out there. Oh, the support that you give to the charities really motivates me out there uh, and, and keeps me being able to put one foot in front of the other.